breaking, furious AG session just fired four people at once after finding what they all did to Trump. The Trump administration started out with one huge impediment, they had to deal with Obama's people. Not only were they cleaning up the messes made by the Obama's people, not all of those people left on Inauguration Day. While the key players obviously turned over plenty keyboard jackie and document runners kept their position. This seems to be the proverbial swamp that President Trump keeps referring to. The White House has been plagued with leaks since day one, and they're frankly quite sick of it. While the loyal Obama supporters probably think they're just honoring their former leader, they're actually stabbing their own country in the back with these treasonous actions. Not only are they making a mockery of our government, in some cases this information is getting out to every government in the world, friends and enemies alike. The White House is finally ready to drop the hammer on the leakers, and Attorney General Sessions is leading the charge. The orders came down from the president, but the implementation will be done by many around 1,600 Pennsylvania Avenue. It's going to be a hard road to stop every single damaging release of information, but it's an absolutely crucial part of the success of the Trump administration. From Washington Examiner Sessions stressed that his department doesn't confirm or deny specific investigations but made it clear there are many more leak investigations ongoing today than there were less than a year ago. Since January, the department has more than triple the number of active leak investigations compared to the number pending at the end of the last administration, he said. And we've already charged four people with unlawfully disclosing classified material or with concealing contacts with federal officers. Here are AG Sessions' full comments on the investigation. Despite those who've already been issued their walking papers over their inexcusable activity, the White House still has a hard road to hoe if they want to completely clean up this mess. Many have advised that the president completely wipe out every person associated with the former administration, however, that's not a step that they've said they're taking yet. It's curious that the left calls Trump supporters deplorable when so much of their behavior seems to fall into that category. If risking the safety of a nation in order to seek vengeance for a political candidate that lost isn't deplorable, I don't know what is. Here's a little more on the subject from the Daily Caller. Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Director of National Intelligence Stan Coltz presented an aggressive new strategy for curtailing intelligence leaks Friday. I strongly agree with the president and condemn in the strongest terms the staggering number of leaks undermining the ability of our government to protect this country, Sessions said during a Friday press conference in Washington. We are taking a stand, he added. This culture of leaking must stop. Sessions says the Department of Justice, DOJ, has tripled the number of open and active leak investigations, the result he said, of an unprecedented increase in complaints to the department about unauthorized disclosures. Though he declined to speak about specific probes, in keeping with long-standing DOJ policy, four individuals have been charged in connection with these inquiries. The AG said the FBI has dedicated significant resources to these investigations, and created a new unit within the FBI to coordinate federal efforts. Sessions further directed Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray to personally oversee classified leak investigations and ordered U.S. attorneys to prioritize prosecutions of leakers. I have this message for the intelligence community, Sessions said. The Department of Justice is open for business. The AG's conservative allies seized on Friday's announcement as proof positive of his prowess atop the DOJ. Trump has repeatedly expressed his dissatisfaction with Sessions in recent weeks, particularly with respect to his decision to recuse himself from the ongoing investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Trump's repeated broadsides raised the prospect that Sessions would be dismissed, a possibility which grew more acute as their personal relationship became increasingly strained. The White House Chief of Staff John Kelly has reportedly informed Sessions that his job is safe. The AG's allies appear to hope Friday's announcement will go some distance towards re-securing the president's favor. From aggressively pursuing the leaking of classified information that puts innocent Americans at risk, 
to efforts that will secure our borders, to cracking on down on drugs and gangs, and especially being more supportive of local and national law enforcement, the DOJ under Jeff Sessions has been a breath of fresh air and he will make all Americans proud, said former Senator Jim DeMint, founder of the newly chartered Conservative Partnership Institute. Ken Blackwell, an Ohio politician turned policy advisor for the Trump transition, said the news vindicated the president's decision to keep Sessions as attorney general. President Trump made the right move in sticking with him as the department's priorities of rule of law, public safety, and securing our borders are such a welcome change from the recent past, he said. Well, we can safely say that whoever is stabbing Americans in the back and releasing classified information to our enemies should probably watch their backs. They're about to feel some serious heat. Share if you're ready for the president to drain the swamp in the Washington. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.